Hi, welcome back. Today's episode is about vectors. What is a vector? How to create vectors? Using NumPy for creating arrays and using arrays for vectors. Let's see. First of all, I want to tell you that lists are the more or most common used object in Python. In R, one of the most used and more important objects are vectors. However, Python doesn't have vectors per se. We have to create use we have to create vectors using arrays. So we're gonna use two different ways to create vectors. We will see how to use NumPy for creating vectors. Let's see first using list to create vectors. As you know, as you learn in linear algebra, we have an horizontal vector and a vertical vector. First, our list containing three elements, one, two, and three. We create list, as you can see here, the size three, because it has three elements. Type list, this one, we will call it horizontal vector. Now, how to create a vertical vector? We're gonna create, surprise, list of list. Why? Because list in these positions are called list of list. My first list is 10, my second list is 20, and my third list is 30. On the contrary, List one is a list containing three elements, one, two, and three. This is a way to create vectors. However, it is better to use arrays to create vectors. Why? Because there are different operations that we will discuss that can be deal or used using arrays. But for that, we have to call NumPy. NumPy will allow us to create these so-called elements or objects arrays. Let's see. We already have, we already have defined this one. And I want to convert this list into array. Let's see using numpy and p dot array. We will transform my list into an array. Let's see what is this transformation. You can see here now the type of my new element or my new object vector one is an array of integers one, two, and three. However, check the difference between this one and this one here. With the it's separated by commas in list in arrays now. So we understand that one, two, three is an array with three elements. Check here that is three comma and no more because this is only unidimensional. Now, my second vector, list two. We're gonna transform it. You can see here now, I'm gonna print it here, vector two. I cannot see it very well here in the explorer. So in the console, 10, 20, and 30. is an array, unidimensional, however, it is seen as a vertical vector. And check that size, three comma one. Three rows, one column. Now, I'm gonna print them. All of them. Vector 1, vector 2, you can see 10, 20, and 30. There are no commas. There are no commas in this view in the variable explorer. On the contrary, list has commas for separating my vector 2, or list 2 in this case. Now, let's see the most important part about talking about the vectors. As you can see, vectors is unidimensional. So, what is a two dimensional array? A matrix. And we can have more than two dimensional, of course, three dimensional arrays. But for the next for the next video, and then as I mentioned before, we can have vectors in using some operation for this. Which functions or which operations? Okay, some we're going to add two different vectors, and we say vector one plus vector two. They are unidimensional. Can we add them? Can we add vector one and vector two? Okay, something that we learned in linear, linear algebra is that they have to have the same size. Do they have the same size? Three and three, three elements. However, there is a difference. This one is three comma one, and this one is three comma, oh, oh no, there's nothing. But what is going to do Python with this? Let's see what does, what does Python do? As you can see here, addition in the variable explorer, I can see now I have a new array, three comma three. I'm gonna print it here in the console. Correct. And as you can see, this addition of vectors was not element plus element. It was like a sort of element plus all the other, all the other elements at the same time. And you can see here why it is not the right addition, because they have different size, of course. Python, indeed, it adds all the numbers. 1 plus 10, 1 plus 20, 1 plus 30, 2 plus 20, and so on. But it's the, that this is not the, the, the right definition of addition of vectors. So what we can do? Let's see the shapes, the function using the function shape. 3, comma, 1 for vector 2, and 3, comma, for vector 1. So what we can do? We're going to reshape. The function reshape is going to be, we're going to use it in different ways in the future. 
for instance, neural networks inputs. Here I'm, I'm saying I'm going to change the shape of my vector to a new one, three comma. Check that it has the same, it has to, to be the same than vector one in order to be able to execute the addition. Let's see. Ah, okay, perfect. 10, 20, and 30 as vector one. So now we can create this addition. Vector two, reshape three comma. I didn't store the information in vector two. That's why I'm, I'm gonna create this like this. Okay, now let's see the result of the addition of these two vectors. Here, addition, and you can see. This is the right definition of, or, let, or another way it could be, this is the, the real result, the true result of addition of two vectors. Now, just printing this information, okay. Now, another common operation with vectors is the dot product. What is the dot product? Element multiplied by the co its corresponding element in the other vector. So you can see here, a1 times b1 plus a2 times b2 and so on. Can we do this with vector 1 and vector 2 even if vector 2 doesn't have the same shape than vector 1? Let's see if Python understands or, or it's better to say NumPy, it better understand that is element times element. Let's see dot product and as you can see here the result we can see it here in the variable explorer is 140. Okay, we can compare. 1 is the first element of vector 1 times the first element of vector 2 plus the result of 2 times 10, 20 plus 3 times 30. Uh, 140, perfect. That means that it is able to execute the dot product even if 1 is a vertical vector in the other is a horizontal vector. Result here and here we go. What is that for the subtraction? Or for the subtraction, it could be the same, just changing the negative sign here. Okay, another common operation is that scalar product. We define a scalar, a scalar, two, a scalar equals two. And what is the definition of multiplication by a scalar? Okay, all the elements in the vector multiplied by the scalar, as mentioned here, as I mentioned here. And then we define vector one times a scalar. Check that it's the operation is using the asterisk. Here for the dot product, we have to call the function dot. However, here is the asterisk directly. And let's see a scalar move here. The result is stored here, scalar mode, two, four, and six, as we were, was, was we were expecting. And the result, we can print it this way too. And that's all. These are the common operations for vectors, and that's how we can create vectors using NumPy in Python. I hope you like it, and thumbs up. See you.